Hi, I am Valder Beebe. I am the host and the visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Hi, welcome Alisa Malone and Dave Parker. And Dave, I'm sorry I mispronounced your name previously. Don't be silly. It's fine. Okay. With a name like Valder, I think it's important. <laughs> thank, you guys for, thank you guys for joining me here live in Dallas, Texas to talk about the Oscars. I want my, my audience to know you guys are here to weigh in on this year's Oscars contenders, best Oscar, Oscar winning uh, films from the past, and get them ready for Oscar night. And if I could start with you, Alicia, women are always first in my world. Yes, I know. And I'm so excited about this year's Oscars to see films like Roma, which have a really strong female character at the centre, a female character that you don't normally see at the centre of a movie, a maid working for a family. I was so excited to see it pick up a Best Picture nomination, foreign film and two acting nominations as well as a whole other host of nominations. That, that is such a special film. So I'm excited about that one. Dave, what excites you this year? Well, I'm with Alicia. Roma is my favorite movie of the year, so I was so happy that it did very well. The other film that I really adored this movie is The Favorite, which is this great kind of costume comedy that takes place in the early 1700s with Emma Stone and Rachel Weisz and Livia Colman, another great female-led film. Mm -hmm. So I was really happy that the Oscars this year are a great mix of smaller films like The Favorite and Roma that could use the boost that the publicity of the Oscars gives them. And then movies like Bohemian Rhapsody, Black Panther, and A Star is Born that the casual average moviegoer actually went and saw. So I don't think there's as much of a disconnect between the everyday movie fan and the Academy Awards like there sometimes can be. I want my audience to know that Dave Krager and Alicia Malone are both hosts on the Turner Classic Movies, one of my channel, my favorite, favorite <laughs> channels. Okay, Alicia. As, as you, my audience is sitting at home and they're making their own bets and their own wagers, what can they bet on that's a sure bet? Well, I think a couple that are a sure bet are in the acting category. So Best Actress, I think, will definitely go to Glenn Close for The Wife, which is very well deserved. This is her seventh Oscar nomination, and that is such an understated, powerful performance. Best Actor, I'm pretty sure it'll go to Rami Malek from Bohemian Rhapsody. He's been winning all the awards in the lead-up to this, and he, in my opinion, is the best part of the film because of the way he transforms into Freddie Mercury. Same with Best Supporting Actor. Mahershala Ali has been winning all the awards in the lead up. He won for Green, I mean, he's going to win for Green Book. He won for Moonlight just two years ago. But the supporting actress category is the one that's going to be interesting. That's the most unpredictable category. Dave, are there going to be any surprises, any dark horses that's going to come to the forefront, you think? Best Picture is actually a category that seems to be somewhat up for grabs. Even though Roma has the most nominations, I think there are some people in the Oscar voting body who are going to check it off for best foreign language film and feel like they've given it its due there and they might give something else best picture like maybe Green Book even though it has the fewest nominations of any of the eight best picture nominees this year so that could be something of a surprise uh, if Green Book is able to pull off a bit of an upset. I like what both of you are saying. So, Alicia, on Oscar night, we're going to tune in, and what do we need to? What else do we need to know? Well, something that I'm really excited about is the fact that you have in the production design category Hannah Beachler, the first ever African American to be nominated in that category. These kind of awards are the ones that make me excited, although they're going to be relegated to the commercial break, which is a shame because you won't see these great craftspeople get their due, their time on stage, and they're trying to just make the telecast as, as fast and lively as possible. But it's in those kind of craft categories, the below the line, as they say, where women really shine. Uh, obviously, we didn't get to see any female nominees once again for the best directing category, which is a real shame because there were so many wonderful movies directed by women this year. The Rider, You Will Never Really Hear, Private Life, Leave No Trace, Can You Ever Forgive Me? There's so many great films that should have been in the conversation that unfortunately weren't. But like we said, many great female-led films in the 
in the running and then some in the crafts category as well. Dave, will you wrap us up? The Oscars are when and where? The Oscars are on February 24th, and then all throughout the month of February on TCM, you could watch classic Oscar-nominated and Oscar-winning films, including the first two A Star is Born versions, which we're showing the night before the Oscars on the 23rd. So watch the first two and then compare them to the new version after you watch the old ones. I like that. I want to thank you guys so much, and thank you for being my guest once again, once again this year to get us ready for the Oscars on the Belber BB Show. Thank you so thank much. You.